Hello Collective, hello Divine Masculines, welcome if you're a Divine Feminine watching for a Divine Masculine, welcome, 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 alright, everybody's welcome here. Alright, so I'm going to get into the messages really quick, alright, we're just going to find out what's going on with the, with the Divine Masculines here, what needs to come out, what they need to know, whatever, okay, so I do want to say of course, y'all know, Everything is not going to resonate for everybody. These are general messages, so please only take what is for you and what applies to your situation. Leave the rest for someone else, okay? Also, feel free to switch the energies, masculine, feminine, or whatever resonates with you. Feel free to switch them as needed, all right? Um, so, yeah, let me just get the shuffling going here, and then we're going to see what comes out for you guys. Masculines. What is going on? Divine masculines right now, spirit. Spirit guardian angels and ancestors, spirit guides. What's going on with the divine masculines right now? Three of sword, I mean three of wands, sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, the death card in the reverse. King of Wands. One more, please. One more, please, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Two of Wands. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I do feel like um, someone is waiting on something here, waiting on something to come in. We could be waiting on some sort of news or some sort of information here. Um, I see someone also going through some changes, some internal changes here, okay? Um, it could be getting rid of something here or some or changing here, Divine Masculine. Maybe you're going through some sort of change here. Um, some sort of rebirth, transformation, something like that, okay? But I feel like this is internal. This is an internal change, okay? Something is changing on the inside, all right? Um, and it looks like you have made a decision here about something, or you have to make a decision about something here, all right? Strong, um... Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here, okay? Strong fire sign here. So some of you um, could be dealing with a divine masculine who is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Or a, a Scorpio, all right? But strong fire sign right here. What's the three of, one, um, three of wands for the divine masculine here? This three of pentacles flew out, but I'm gonna put it back. It flew out before I got down with the question. <laughs> What's to um clarify the three of wands? Why is the three of wands here for the divine masculine? Thank you, spirit. Alright, you got the page of cups and the full card. <sighs> Some of you are waiting. The divine masculines, I feel like they're waiting on a new beginning, like a new opportunity here. All right, um, or a new offer, or they're waiting to make an offer, or maybe waiting for an offer to be accepted if they've already made an offer here. Okay, something about some romance that I feel like you're the divine masculine is ready to take a leap of faith, waiting on waiting on someone here, or wanting to make 
a gesture or a romantic gesture or something to somebody, okay? Why is the full, uh, the death card here in the reverse, please? Why is the death card here in the reverse? Thank you. Y'all getting double cards today. Four of Wands and the Magician. Yeah, something is changing on the inside of this Divine Masculine here. And um, maybe they've been doing a lot of soul searching and a lot of manifesting here. But they're manifesting a relationship here. They're ready for a change. They're, they've gone They've gone through, uh, this person could be going through a spiritual awakening here. All right. They could be, um, I feel like, triggered by something that happened here. They Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. I'm feeling like this Divine Masculine has been triggered by something that ended here with this death card, okay? And as a result, they're going through, he's going through some sort of change here um, internally, okay? So, maybe he just, um, maybe the Divine Masculine, maybe you just ended a relationship, okay? Or something like that. And that caused you to change here or either... Um, and I feel like this, um, divine masculine is manifesting something here, maybe a new relationship here or, or they're being manifested. Okay. I don't know. Um, bottom of the deck, you got the world here. There's a cycle ending here. So yeah, something definitely came to an end here with this divine masculine and they're moving forward here. Six of swords. All right. Um, they are definitely going through some sort of change and some sort of rebirth here, okay? Um, they could want to make an offer here with this Knight of Cups. I see an offer coming in, a proposal here. Or this could be an apology here because you have the Ten of Swords. So there was some sort of um, hurt and betrayal here, some sort of backstabbing or something like that, and maybe um, somebody, maybe this uh, divine masculine is waiting on an apology from for some sort of hurt and betrayal here. All right, uh, for something that happened in a relationship that caused a heartbreak through the swords here, lots of fussing and fighting and chaos and everything like that with this five of wands here. All right. Um, I'm feeling like something was said in a situation here with the, with the um, Divine Masculine, okay? I feel like something was said in a situation here with you and someone else, and maybe you feel like you need an apology. You're waiting on an apology for something that this person said, or this could be someone who's waiting on an apology for you, from you, okay? Take it however it resonates. Yeah, that was, um, you have the King of Swords here. The seven of pen and the queen of swords. Ooh, and the lovers. Oh, my gosh. Okay, y'all. So, yeah, I, I definitely feel like there was some conflict in a relationship between the king and queen of swords here. And somebody's waiting on an apology here. Or somebody's waiting on some sort of communication here. But this person to tell them that they're sorry or something like that. But I feel like somebody has the other person blocked here. If I'm asking, this could be you. Maybe you block somebody here or somebody blocked you. Um, I don't know. Take it however it resonates here. But I feel like you're choosing to move on here um, because maybe some truth or some clarity. You had some, a moment of clarity or maybe some truth or something came out about a person or a situation here with this sun card. And you decided to move on here with the chariot. Okay. Yeah. This is you moving on here. Yeah. That's the truth. The Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. You got new love offers coming in. Six of Cups. Okay. You could be moving on toward I'm, I'm getting a lot of heavy leo energy here so i feel like i'm talking to a divine masculine who's a leo here all right you could have been who could have been possibly dealing with a cancer pisces or a scorpio or a libra gemini aquarius okay but take it however it resonates all right but i, I yeah okay damn i got all that from the bottom of the deck okay top of the deck now the swords energy. Somebody's in their head here about a situation. Possibly this was a marriage that you guys were in, okay? And somebody chose to go step outside the marriage here, being sneaky with the seven of swords, all right? So this caused you to be up in your head here because somebody stepped outside the marriage. Somebody was cheating and lying and all this stuff, okay? And now you're single, all right? Nine of Pentacles. Now, you, now you're single, all right? And I feel like this person is looking back at you being single and stuff, thinking about, you know, what they did and all that type of stuff, or either the, or this is you in your head about it still, okay? All right, 
divine masculine divine masculine what's going on with my divine masculine why is the king of but i do feel like i do feel like something is changing something that you guys are manifesting a change in your life okay or a change in, in a relationship or something like that okay um i also feel with some of you this person um some of you were dealing with a person who lied to you like pulled the wool over your eyes is what i'm hearing okay that's for somebody like the, like this person who wasn't who you thought they were like the truth came out about them or you found out what type of person they really like what type of person you were really dealing with here okay and that could have been what caused this ending all right why is the king of wands here thank you spirit ten of cups why is the ten of cups here thank you the nine uh nine of pentacles yeah, I feel like something happened up in this in this situation here that caused you to be single. Okay, something happened with this um, family dynamic here. All right, that caused you to be single. All right, because this um, King of Wands and this Nine of Pentacles, you no, know, the man is looking one way. Okay, and the the woman she's looking the other way. All right, so I do feel that there is a se a separation here of a family all right so this could be somebody that you have children with this could be a marriage okay or this is a baby mama baby dad whoever this was a serious relationship though you know what i'm saying i think i put that backwards but um yeah this was a serious relationship but i feel like somebody fell trapped here with the eight of uh swords on the bottom here Yeah, six of swords, you're moving out of that trapped energy, moving away from this uh, family situation here, moving away from this ten of pentacles situation, this marriage or whatever this was for you guys because it was a heavy burden on you. It was too much, ten ten. There's a cycle ending here with the world energy, all right? There's a cycle closing here. The cycle is closing here with this um, marriage or this situation, and you guys are moving forward here. Six of wands, yeah, because the judgment, somebody was called the judgment. Um, or you, you had an epiphany, you had an awakening here that you realized something about this person, the truth came out about this person that you were dealing with. Then look, you hightailed it on up out of there. <laughs> Divine masculine hightailed it on up out of there. Okay. Yeah. That's the truth. Cause the truth came out. Justice, the justice card here. Yeah. Wow. And I feel like you guys are moving forward here to find your divine counterpart here because somebody, the Empress is here with the Queen of Pentacles. You guys are moving forward to find your divine counterpart here. So I see maybe there's a um, a cause for celebration here for somebody. Maybe um, got some good news here, okay? And then somebody celebrating some good news here. There could be a, a chapter closing here. It could be the good news. All right. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here for the divine masculine? Thank you, Spirit. Wow, look at that. Two of cups and the hermit. Yeah, you guys decided to walk away from this situation here to go and isolate yourself and do some um, healing here, okay? Um, yeah, you had to heal from this situation here, this two of cups situation. I feel like... You guys made a decision here that you were going to move forward and focus on yourself here, all right? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles here, Six of Swords, moving away from this Seven of Swords energy right here. Yeah, moving away from this person you decided to go within and heal yourself because this person was treating you like an option here, all right, in this uh, marriage or this situation, whatever this was, and had you up in your head about it, okay, sitting there crying and, and having anxiety and stuff but i see you guys working really hard to get over this okay could be throwing yourself into your work here working a whole lot all right just trying to get over this situation here i'm seeing a lot i'm seeing um phones here all right so i feel like somebody could have gone through somebody's phone here and found out some information um here that's probably how this cheating or whatever this was came out here because um, somebody went through a phone. Okay. Yeah, that Queen of Wands kept wanting to come out. Yeah, to find this King of Wands. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This Queen... <laughs> I was wondering why this Queen of Wands kept popping up. This Queen of Wands over here looking for this King, okay? I do... I feel that there is a separation here. Somebody could want to come in and offer you an apology here, all right? 
and talk to you. Somebody wants to come in and talk to you. What's this Queen of Wands here? Who's this Queen of Wands? What she want to say? Why is this Queen of Wands showing up? Why is this Queen of Wands showing up? Yeah, that King of Swords. Yeah, okay. So you guys have definitely been dealing with the Leo, heavy, heavy Leo energy here. Air, uh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, I mean, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? But, um, uh, yeah, you guys could be going through a legal situation here. I'm getting that you could be cutting somebody off or something like that, all right? But I'm also getting that somebody wants to talk to you or say something to you here, but, um, uh, Maybe you, like, block this person, or maybe you are, like, being cold to this person or something like that. Um, not really wanting to hear what they have to say or something. Because I feel like you're kind of, you, you have kind of, like, detached yourself from this situation or from this person here. Whatever this is, whoever this is. What's the king of, why is the king of swords here? Uh, oh, wow, wow, wow. Hold on, y'all. Ten of swords and one fell on the floor. Let me get it. I'm going to put it back, though, because I don't know if it was it fell face down, so I don't know. It's the king of pentacles. I'm going to put that back. Ten of swords, though, all right? Um, there was some, definitely some some hurt, some backstabbing, some betrayal. Some dead, dead phones keeps popping up. Oh. <sighs> Y'all gonna learn to stop going through people's phone. Yeah, I see there's some arguing here about a text message or about a phone call or about a phone, okay? Somebody could have um ran off. I'm getting somebody like you could be if you if you argue with a person a lot, I mean if you were dealing with a person like when y'all argue or whatever, you could have been dealing with someone who always like ran away or walked away whenever there was a conflict or something like that. Um, I feel like this person like just walked away from you in the middle of an argument or either they um, just shut down or they got in their car and they left like right in the middle of an argument or something like that. All right. And I do see um, some truth. The, the truth came out here that somebody was being selfish in the situation here in the relationship. Trying to juggle multiple people here with the two of pentacles on the top. All right, this person could have potentially been toxic, or you could just be dealing with the Capricorn here. All right, Virgo or Taurus. All right, but um, I don't know why I'm getting somebody's addicted to money. <laughs> I don't know, somebody, uh, Divine Masculine, this could be you, the, the Divine Masculine, okay? The addicted to money, like. I just say you probably work a lot, like especially if you are going through something, like because listen, these divine masculines they be about they you know hard working and about the you know their stability and stuff like that. Emperor energy, you know what I'm saying? So like you're not gonna let nothing stop your money, you guys. You could have been arguing with somebody about money too. Um. Like, I'm hearing somebody needed to get a job, okay? Um, and I'm seeing somebody filling out, like, job applications or something. So, I don't know. Somebody didn't want to get a job or something like that. Or somebody just thought maybe um, the person thought you worked too much or something, okay? And that could be for someone specific, all right? What else? Give me, let's find out why this fool card is here. Well, how how is the... um? How's the Divine Masculine currently feeling about their person if they're in a relationship, okay? How is the Divine Masculine in a relationship feeling about their person? Sadness. Wow. Five of Cups. Hurt. Betrayed. Okay. Why is the five of cups here? Why is this five why is this divine masculine feeling wow, look at that. I couldn't even get it all the way out. Dang, five of pentacles and the seven of swords. So yeah, I'm feeling like somebody stole somebody's money. 
or something like that. All right, Divine Masculine, somebody could have ran off with your money or was taking money from you or something like that because you're very protective over your money, okay, or something, and somebody could have stolen money from you. Yeah, eight of cups. Somebody ran off with your money or you found out somebody was spending too much money, something, something about some money here, okay, or you just live it for some of you. Okay, but some of you, for some of you, this person just did some sneaky shit and they were cheating on you and they, they let, and you left them. Either you, this is you leaving them out in the cold or, or this is how you felt, you know, that they did you. Like they left you out in the cold and you're like, all right, you want to run off and do a little extra shit and be sneaky and all this stuff. And so now guess what? I'm leaving. Eight of Cups. So for a lot of you divine masculines out there, you left this situation behind. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Thank you. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you 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 left this situation behind and you trying to figure your life out, figure your next moves out here. Okay, you're trying to focus on your bag, focus on your money, everything like that. Okay. For some of you, you are dealing with the Libra here. I'm seeing the Queen of Swords and the Justice card here. Or for some of you, you going towards the Libra. The Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck with the Chariot, okay? The Queen of Swords, the Justice here. You guys are getting justice, good karma. Something's ending, a cycle is ending, and a new cycle is beginning here for love. Good news coming in for you guys with the Ace of Cups here. Um, Yeah, for some of you... You're moving forward. I see signing of contracts though, like cutting. <laughs> um cutting something off or cutting someone off or something like that. Like something legal, some some sort of legality here, okay? Um like I said, some of you could have been divorced here. And this is could be getting a separation, signing papers, signing paperwork, all of that here. Because on the top of the deck, you got the tower. There was a tower moment here that caused this three of swords, this broken heart here. Yeah, and caused somebody to be single here. All right. But now I feel like this person, this queen of wands, okay, like wants to come back and make um, amends or make apologies or something. To, yeah. But it's like... Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. All right. How is the single divine masculine feeling right now? How is the single divine masculine feeling right now about relationships? All right. How is the single divine masculine feeling about relationships right now? Yeah, wants a new beginning here. Wow, somebody wants to, to get into, could potentially want to get into a new relationship here. Yeah, look at that. The lover's card on the top of the deck now, okay? Huh. Let's see. Why is the world card here? How's the divine masculine card? It's talking about relationships, single divine masculine. Wow. Hmm. So this, the, they could be finding the strength to, to end the cycle or to get over something here, Divine Masculine. Why is the strength part here? How is the single Divine Masculine feeling about, currently feeling about relationships? Why is the strength part here? The lovers. Yeah, I said that one to come out. Oh, so they do. Want, they want to find the strength to get into another relationship here, okay? But I do feel them holding back. Like, maybe there um there's some fear there, Okay. Because they don't want to repeat a cycle here. And, you know, of course, I understand that. Nobody does. Nobody wants to. Definitely don't. They, Divine Masculine. Yeah, look. That's the truth. Got a notification right here. Divine Masculine definitely does not want to deal with, with liars and cheaters and toxicity and all of that stuff. So, yeah, this, this, um, they don't want to. This Divine Masculine does not want to deal with any more toxicity here. So, they're, uh, how they're feeling about new love is they, um, I feel like they're ready for it. They're welcoming. They're open to it. Okay. But it's like 
they do not want to repeat a cycle here, okay? But you have the, oh my goodness, look at that. They definitely ready. Ace of Cups on the bottom with the star card. Yeah, ready to work hard for this. Ready to move toward a new relationship. Ace of Swords, this is the truth here. Yeah, they're deciding to block out all negativity. Um, and to, to have to, they're ready for a change. They're ready for a change. They're deciding to, you know, they have their guard up. But I feel like this is more so of them blocking out negativity, blocking out negative things here, okay, so that they can make this change, all right? Yeah. They want they want truth and honesty and clarity, you know, in a relationship. They want to be with somebody who's going to be honest here, all right? And I feel like they could have, you know, Divine Masculine, you know, you have new opportunities coming in for you for love, but it's like you're still trying to figure something out here. Um... Maybe you have an offer here that you're trying to figure out if you want to make. Maybe you want to make an offer to someone here, but you're trying to figure out if you should go toward this person or not here. Look on the top of the deck. Ace of Pentacles on the top of the deck. The moon card and the tower. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I feel like... I just feel like you guys are just secretly afraid. Divine Master is just secretly afraid of getting, you know getting hurt, getting that feelings hurt again, or repeating the cycle here. That's understandable. Okay? Why is the lover's call here for how the Divine Masculine is currently feeling about love? Ooh, look at that. There you go, Divine Masculine. <laughs> look at that. Empress, Emperor, Emperor. I'm about to say Empress, but I feel like you're looking for your Empress here, okay? I feel like you, you're Taking back control of yourself, you know what I'm saying? Stepping into your emperor status here. Um, yeah, somebody's awake. Somebody, this part, whatever happened here between uh, the Divine Mask and, and whoever triggered something here. It triggered an awakening. Triggered. Yeah, what else for the Divine Emperor? Give me one more card over here, please. Ten of Wands. Okay. You got the Ace of... Uh, not Ace of... I would say Ace of... Something. Ace of Cups. Eight of Wands here. Ten of Wands here came out. But you got the Ace of... Eight of Cups. Why keep wanting to say eight? Ace of... Um, Lord have mercy. What the hell? Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. I couldn't get it out. But you got the Ace of Wands here on the top of the deck. So I feel like this um, King of Wands... Jeez Louise. It is the King of Wands down here. The Divine Masculine here is ready to move away from this heavy burden, this heavy load here that they've been carrying, okay? About ready to put that down. All right. Eight of Wands and move forward to something new, to a new beginning here. Ace of Pentacles here with someone new, ready to meet someone new, ready for security and abundance and stability here, and could be ready to make an offer to somebody here. Okay, could be an offer of marriage here. Okay. Mm. Okay. Lay down your burdens. Gonna lay down my burdens. All right. Anything else here? What else for this deck? Four cups and the temperance, all right? So somebody definitely um, wants to make an offer here. I feel like this, um, for most of you Divine Masculines, you're probably still in your Hermit mode or either you're coming coming out of your Hermit mode here, all right? But I feel like you haven't been, you know, really talking to anybody or like I feel like your phone has been like on Do Not Disturb because you've been healing and you was like, uh, you know, still trying to figure yourself out, figure some stuff out here. All right, but I see you guys making a decision here to move forward here. Oh, look, look, top of the deck, the Empress. Top of the dang deck, the star, wish fulfilled. Yeah, you guys are ready for love, yeah. Good news coming in here. Oh, goodness. All right, so let's find out about this new person here because I'm going to leave this alone with the Empress on the top of the deck, honey. Let's see what is going on here. Let me get. So you what, I haven't used this deck. Let me use this deck. Mm -hmm. 
Look on the split, two of cups and the hanged one. Some of you guys could have felt stuck in a relationship here. I see the tower here again. Some of y'all could have felt stuck in a situation and felt like you weren't going to get out of a situation here. Chapter for the Divine Masculine. What are the messages here for the Divine Masculine? But I see you guys getting out of that situation. The sun's out here. All right. For some of you, you already have. Almost shuffle. Yeah, because there was some light shed on this sneaky person, the Seven of Swords. Truth came out about this person. I feel I really feel like somebody took somebody's money. Or made somebody lose, like the divine masculine could have lost money messing with somebody or something like this. Let me who is this past love or old love, this toxic person, whatever this is right here, spirit. Who is this? Tell me more about this. But look at that. Ace of Cups in the damn reverse. Yeah, somebody that just the divine masculine, you just done poured out all your love for this person. Okay? Somebody you just done poured out a cup of love for. Okay, this person. Um, yeah, this person, um, made you just want to pour out love, just thinking about yourself here. You don't even want to offer any more love to this person at all here. Could be a queen of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you guys are dealing with. Okay. I <laughs> what? That's crazy. It's almost like, let me get one more before I say that. What's, give me one more. How? What, what, who is this person? Tell me about this person. This toxic, sneaky, cheating, whatever this it is. Tell me about this person. Yep, three of swords. Absolutely. The person that broke your heart. You got, you, you're not talking to this person. You got your back against this person. I told, did not tell y'all this in this uh, with this Knight of Wands, I mean King of Wands. I don't know why I can't get these cards right today, right now. Somebody just don't want me to say nothing. They don't want me to shut the hell up. But yeah, you see how the, the, their backs are to each other. They are, they're looking in opposite directions right here. Okay, separation here, I told y'all. Yeah, you. this person broke your heart. You put, And this person poured out your love. Okay. I don't even, or you took your love back or whatever, okay? And you're not talking to this person. You're not speaking. Y'all been having arguments here. You're going within and you're healing yourself, okay? You're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to build, um, you know, your, your heal, heal your heart here on the top of this deck. You have the page of swords, all right? So, yeah, somebody, this person is still watching you. Divine Master, this person is still watching you. They in their head here, five of cups, regretting a decision that they made, regretting something that they did, regretting something that they said, okay? Um, and they still watching you. They want to know what's going on with you. Look, they looking for you. You got your guard up, but they looking for you. <laughs> they looking for you. Yep, reminiscing and stuff like that, thinking about what was said and what happened and everything like that. But you guys are being strong here, moving forward. All right, you could have new offers coming in here. Or, yeah, you said, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, you guys are like single, enjoying the single life. You're celebrating. You guys could be going out every night, having drinks with your boys, with your, you know what I'm saying, with your friends. I see you guys just celebrating. You laid back. I see you have options here. All right. You could have um, plenty of options here about who you want to, you know, be with and stuff like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because so you guys want to change from you're giving away from this toxic energy, the seven of swords energy. You guys want to change here. You don't want this seven of, of swords anymore. Okay. You want to change. You want a, a shift here. You want love. You want real love. All right. You don't want somebody that's gonna burden you and make you um have to choose, you know, make you feel like an option or something like that. And that's what this person did. That's what this past person did. Okay, could be a cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or Libra Gemini Aquarius that you guys are dealing with here. All right, doesn't have to be, but it could be. All right, and I see you guys just sitting back, meditating and healing. You're resting and relaxing, and you're meditating here. Yeah, you're protecting your energy. Okay, you guys are protecting your energy. All right.
Tell me about this new person, the possible new love, new situation here. Who's who's coming in for uh, the Divine Masculine? Who's coming toward the Divine Masculine? Okay, Six of Cups. Wow, this could be somebody that you had a past with. Okay, this, you could be reconciling with a past person, um, an uh, ex possibly, okay? Or this could be just a past life love, okay? But you guys could definitely be reconciling with somebody here. What, um, why is it Six of Cups? Look at that. <laughs> wow, Five of Coins. Possibly somebody that left you out in the cold once upon a time before here, okay? So maybe so I feel like this is a past person, but possibly this is somebody that um maybe left you out in the cold or you left them out in the cold. Tell me about the um the divine masculine, this new person who's coming toward the divine masculine. Who's coming toward the divine masculine? New love, new relationship, new person, whoever. Wow, eight of cups. Yeah, I feel, I definitely feel, feel an ex past, like an ex, okay? This is somebody that you walked away from. For some of you, you might be going back to this other person, but for some of you, this is somebody that you walked away from before. If you're not going back to, well, too many. If you're not going back to this other person, um, this is somebody that you do know or that you have been with before here. <sighs> There's too many. Give me one more for this. Who's coming toward the Divine Masculine? New person, new love. What are Divine Masculine? Who is this? Dang, look at that. Look at that Emperor flipping out right there. I'm not taking all these cards, but look, the Emperor is on the top. Um, whoa, okay, hold on, y'all. Is this somebody that y'all... Okay. <laughs> okay, for some of you, I feel like this is somebody that you... some Somebody from the past. Somebody that left you out in the cold or you walked away from them and left them out in the cold or something like that, okay? And I feel like you've been thinking about it a lot. Like, either you've been heavy on their mind or they've been heavy on your mind or something, but I see a reconciliation here. You know what I'm saying? And I... For some of you, this is a person that you guys were in the, in the third party situation with or once upon a time before or something like that. All right. For some of you, and I feel like maybe this person is manifesting you back. And I feel like this is your ex here. This is the person that you're walking away from with this queen of cups. So like I said, some of you are going back to this queen of cups over here with this king because either you miss this person or you thinking about this person or they're manifesting you to come back or something like that okay this person could um they got some kind of hold on on you divine masculine if you a divine feminine watching for this then somebody got some kind of hold on your divine masculine okay and i feel like he's going back to this situation or either and and i did say that there was a cycle that kept repeating y'all so yeah I feel like some of you are going back to this person. But you know what I haven't seen? I haven't seen the Empress in this deck. The Empress didn't even really come out in that deck. So I don't know if this person... I'm feeling like this is a karmic person that... Um, this divine masculine is dealing with okay why is the eight of cups here for new i keep asking about the new person and then it just keep bringing me back to this old person to this so-called ex here that poured out they love but they still then broke their heart but this divine masculine is still thinking about this person they got some kind of hold on them over here they got some kind of hold on this person i don't know somebody might be doing some damn sex magic or something on this person it's something What's the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? I'm, for the new person. Tell me about the new person. Why the Eight of Cups? <laughs> Why is the Eight of Cups here for the Divine Masculine here? What's going on? Okay, the Chariot and the Hierophant. <sighs> I feel like if this was a marriage, if this person was married to this Queen of Cups, whoever this is over here, they're going back. 
I feel like this person is like literally like somehow calling this person back to them. Like not not physically, not actually, verbally, but I feel like it's some sort of hold that this person has on them and I feel like they're going back to this person. Or they could be walking away. But I, I mean, I keep asking about the new love and it, it came up a past, the past here, reconciliation came up from, you know, somebody that was left out in the cold, somebody that the divine masculine walked away from, or they walked away from them here, somebody that they were possibly in a marriage with, okay, that they already left. I feel like their person is the person that's already left them or that they've already walked away from, but it looks like they're going back. Like even right here in this eight of cups. She's walking this way, like back toward this Queen of Cups. This chariot is facing back this way toward the King Queen of Cups. They're going, some of y'all are going back to this person. <sighs> Bottom of the deck, some, uh, Six of Swords, some of you are not, okay? Some of you are moving away from this person. Six of Swords here, some of you got your bags packed and you're ready to go. All right, some of you heading on out the door. Three of Wands here, you're waiting on new love to come in with this Ten of Cups here. Somebody could be expecting to. I'm getting somebody could be pregnant here with the six of coins and this waiting energy right here. And um, I feel like somebody's waiting on a, on a baby to be born or something. Somebody's expecting. That's for that's for someone specific, I guess. All right, and maybe because this person is expecting, or either this person told. Oh, okay. Thank you, spirit. Because this came out before, and this probably came out in a Divine Masculine reading before. I can't remember. I have to go back and look. But anyway, but yeah, um, if it keeps like jumping and skipping, y'all, I'm pausing because I know some of y'all probably hit my door, so I have to go take her. But anywho, um, yeah, this came out in a reading, so somebody's expecting this. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let me tell y'all what's going on because I know y'all probably didn't watch it. <laughs> Oh, Divine Masculine, this is for you. Or Divine Feminine, I'm sure you're probably watching, okay? But anywho, now it makes sense why I, I'm saying Because I'm like, damn, this person keeps going backwards. This the karmic female told this Divine Masculine, told you Divine Masculine or whoever, cross watches, whatever. All right, told this Divine Masculine that they're expecting and they're pregnant. And now they trying to work it out with the Six of Pentacles. I mean, with the Eight of Coins and the High Priestess. Okay. I mean, the High Priestess is here. So, I don't know how true this is. Maybe if this person is pregnant, if this female is pregnant, then she did it on purpose. You know what I'm saying? She, she waited on this. She wished this to happen with this High Priestess. She knows. She knew that this would um, call this man back here, okay? Somebody could be dealing with a cancer here or a Pisces, okay? But she knew and she wished and she hoped and she prayed for something to happen or for her to get pregnant or something like this so that this man would not leave her or would come back to her. Okay. Look at look at this star card. How she's wishing and praying. Look at how this loud she just somebody like I said, somebody could have did some sex magic, some moon magic, some something like that to, to either get pregnant on purpose. Okay. Or either this happened on like a full somebody did something. Somebody knows some stuff and they did something. They tried something or something. Or either she not even pregnant and she just saying it. I don't know. But she this karmic female here, this female that this divine masculine is dealing with, did something. Cause she was wishing and hoping and praying to get this to for um this divine masculine to come back to a cups. Okay. Yeah, she was wishing and hoping and praying for this divine masculine to come back to a cups because this divine masculine had already chosen to leave here. The devil, look at this. The devil, this person is toxic. Like this divine masculine was already out the door here. See the chains are breaking here. All right. But I feel like the, the karmic female was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Started, started spinning some. <laughs> Just look, started like got over her cauldron. Look how y'all see how this two coins see how the, the things are spinning how she's spinning the, the coins I feel like she got in over her little pot and over her little cauldron and started stirring some shit up here and was like <laughs> oh 
All right, y'all. Let me let me leave that alone. Look, oh, look on the top of the deck, y'all. The page of wands. Didn't I say somebody got on? Mm. I'm just gonna be quiet. I don't let y'all soak that in. I literally just said she got in her kitchen, got in her little cave, and starts stirring some shit up, cooking some shit up, stirring in her pots to get this in. Divine masculines, listen, I just got him. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. I just got, listen, this ace of cups in the reverse. And I was, what I was going to say earlier, I don't know if y'all heard me when I said, well, let me get one more card before I say that. Because I was like, it looks like this, um, whatever is being poured out this cup, the way the cards came out, you see her cup is full. So it looks like it's being poured back into this cup, right? And then if you switch it, it's a never ending cycle. It's a never-ending cycle. Divine Masculines, be careful if 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 this woman, because I feel like y'all don't already don't trust this person with the Seven of Swords energy behind them, okay? So, y'all might want to make your own drinks from now on. That's all I'm going to say. Maybe you want to make your own drinks because this person is, is somebody's giving somebody something. This, this, <laughs> oh my God. And I don't even want to say what I think it is, guys, because I'm not about to get into that. I'm not. Mm -mm. I'm not about to get into it. But look, look at this. Mm. All right. Let me. Moving on. <laughs> moving on, moving on, moving on. Oh, jeez Louise. Yeah, it's like every time that it's divine masculine, every time you try to pour this out or every time you uh, finish this cup or finish one cup, it's like, and, and, oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be careful, not only for when you, when this person give you something to drink, but if you drink with this person a lot, like, if y'all, if this hasn't happened already and this person isn't already pregnant, okay, they're trying to get pregnant to keep you around, to keep this divine masculine around. So, I'm feeling like it's going to be a night where they got some drinks or something like that. And as soon as, as you can finish one drink, she's handing them another one. As soon as you finish one, she's handing them another one, trying to get them fucked up so she, so she, can, <laughs> so she can get pregnant. Wow. What the hell? Mm, mm, mm. So divine masculines, all right. If you are, if you are resonating with this, and you feeling, and you know, you um haven't gotten uh, this person isn't pregnant right now. Be careful, especially if you don't want to have any kids with this person. Be careful because they could slip you something in your drink to like put you to sleep, maybe that shit, it might not even be, it could be like some kind of, um, those, those pills, those, those sex pills, those, I don't know what they call for the men, but you know, the, the women have the, what is it, pink, pink pussy cat or pink cat or something like that, okay, I don't know what the male equivalent of that is, but they could slip something like that, she could slip something like that into your drink, or maybe they have already, if this person's pregnant, y'all, divine masculines, be careful. Be careful. Um, if you don't want to have a baby, if you're not trying to have a child with this woman that you're trying to get away from, but you get it. But for some of you, I feel like it's too late. Like, or either this person, they probably, they could have even, she could have even um, told you, told this divine masculine that she was pregnant, right? And then... Yeah, look at that uh, confirmation coming through with that notification. Yeah, she could have told this divine masculine that she was pregnant and then he came back and then now she just trying to have sex with him all the time and trying to actually get pregnant for real because she lied. For some of them, they are pregnant or they're trying to get pregnant and they're going to try to get this divine masculine drunk and put a baby, have him put a baby in him or, or they already have one. Oh, jeez Louise. Okay. Tell, 
That's why I can't get a new person because this this person is stuck. That's why I cannot get a reading for a new person before this divine masculine because this karmic female has gotten a hold on them. But yeah, so that's why some of these um this divine divine masculines are not finding their divine counterparts because of the karmic females that they're dealing with. That's why I can't get a read on a new person for this divine masculine, for nothing in the world. They're going back to this person. They keep repeating this cycle, going back to this person. This person is doing something to keep them stuck, keep them trapped, keep them stagnant here. And it's like every time they do it, every time they come back, it's another dagger to the to the heart. This person's hurting this hurting them even more. You know what I'm saying? Every time they go back, it's like another uh, something else happens. It's like another dagger to the heart. But you keep going back. But he keeps going back. Yeah. What what is the um possible outcome here between the divine masculine and this karmic female here? What's the possible outcome between the divine masculine and this karmic female here? Thank you. Ace of Coins. Ace of Coins is about a new beginning here, okay? New offers, new potentials. It's about meeting someone new as well, okay? And then on the bottom of the deck, you got the Eight of Swords, right? So I feel like this person, this masculine is eventually going to cut ties. See, she's cutting that um, that rope, that string. I feel like this divine masculine is, is going to wake up, okay, and cut ties because she's holding one sword, right? So down here is seven swords. Swords. They're gonna. He's gonna cut ties with this uh, seven of swords energy. This karmic person. Okay. Don't know when. Don't know how. But he's gonna do it. Walk away. The Knight of Wands. Yeah. That's gonna. Wow. That's what this person does not see coming. They think that they have this divine masculine trapped. This karmic female thinks she has a divine masculine trapped. But little does she know. <laughs> He, he obviously got some moves, planning on making some moves here, cutting ties with her and moving forward here, not once, okay? He made a decision. Yeah, the emperor. Yeah, he cutting ties. He cutting ties here with this karma situation. This person probably is, um, I'm, I'm feeling like this person just, like, gets on they, on his nerves. Like, I'm just getting, like, they talk to their friends a lot. Like, I'm seeing, like, a female sitting on the phone, always talking and gossiping with her friends, always drinking and or, or you know something like that or always wanting him to drink or or something like that okay but i feel like they cutting ties he's gonna cut ties with this person yeah will of fortune on the top there's gonna be a shift and a change here in this relationship here because this uh divine masculine feels burdened in this relationship okay the lovers and the ten of wands they feel burdened in this relationship here seven of wands like <sighs> he's just trying to protect his peace, chair. He's just trying to find some peace. This king, <laughs> this divine masculine is just trying to find some peace. Why is Ace of Coins here for the possible outcome between the divine masculine and this karmic person? Thank you. Knight of Swords. All right, I feel like this um, divine masculine is fighting, fighting to get out of this relationship. He fighting. He trying to get out of this. He's trying to figure shit out. He all up in his head. This woman giving him headaches, like, <laughs> getting on his nerves. Like, he is trying to fight his way out. Okay? <sighs> Good grief. Impatient. Ready to go. Ready to go. Do you hear me? Probably done left a couple of times. He ready to go. But he keep coming back. Look at that. Yeah, look. Hmm. Nine of Wands here. Okay. Nine of Wands is about, you know, block. I feel like <sighs> there's a decision. This this um divine masculine has made a decision in his head. Okay, I don't know if he's he's told this karmic female that he that he's thinking about walking away here because in every card of these wands, there's one staff, there's one wand in the hand right here. There's not a wand. See how she's holding one wand? Okay, 
And then in this, uh, shit, I can't even pick the thing up. In this two of wands card, see how she's holding on to one wand? Like, leaving this one behind, a decision has been made here. Even in that knight of wands that I just had, guys, there was a situation, uh, he was holding one wand. Okay? So, it's like, I feel like this divine masculine has made a decision to walk away. Okay? But, I don't think he's telling this divine, this feminine here. Cause he didn't, like I feel like he's made a decision here, but she's she's keeping him trapped, keeping him stuck in this relationship. The king and the queen of wands are here. She's keeping him stuck in this relationship. All right, and he's just like, oh my goodness, like just ready to go, trying to figure some shit out. I feel like trying to find the right time or something like that. Okay, to leave this person behind or to walk away from this person. Nine of Swords on the top of the deck. Look, you got the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords. He is really in his head, really trying to figure some shit out here. All right? In his head about this relationship. Ten of um, Coins here. Yeah. Ten of Coins and the Four of Wands. He in his relationship about this, um, uh, 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 this relationship here. But little does this karmic female know. Or either she does know that he's trying to walk away from her here. And I feel like there's lots of chaos and conflict here. Like this, this, um, this karmic female could be abusive as well. Like whether it's verbally, physically, like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like could be, yeah, toxic. She toxic. She knows. She knows that this man wants to leave her. She knows. That's why she doing all the extra shit. Doing the fucking most. Cause she know this man want to leave her. I feel like somebody, like, be, I feel like somebody's put, like, be pushing this man's head or something like that. Y'all know how some females do when they, they, they be aggressive sometimes and 56, 56 on the timer. Y'all check out that angel number. I just feel like this person just crazy and toxic. I feel like she be putting her hand on this man, like, when they get into arguments and stuff, you know, because some women will do that. Some women will do that because they don't think that. The man, and because they know that this man is not gonna put their hands on them, but they'll push them. You know what I'm saying? And then, listen, I ain't saying it's right, but I'm saying don't you don't want nobody to put your hands on their hands on you. Don't put your hands on nobody else. I don't care, man, woman, female, however, whatever. Like keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, lots of fighting in this relationship here, and he fighting to get out of this damn relationship. Crazy ass woman. <laughs> the knight of swords here why for the possible outcome spirit what's the knight of swords mm -mm -mm. wow divine masculine yeah. if y'all know any divine masculines you think even y'all just friends with some y'all might want to share this this video with them huh if y'all can resonate with it yeah truth the truth is he wants to leave this relationship the truth is he's trying to fight and find a way out of this relationship because he wants a new beginning the outcome is he wants a new beginning, not with this person. He does not want to keep repeating the cycle with this crazy ass woman. He wants a new beginning and he's going to fight for it here. The world card on the top. Didn't I say he want a cycle ending? He wants the cycle to end. He wants to stop it. Look, he don't want to fight with this person no more. He, he got his sword down. Okay, this king of swords. He, he's like, I can't take it no more. He's looking out just fed up with the sword down. It's like, I can't. He's just like, I can't. I can't. Yeah, he's trying to figure out how to move on, child. He's he trying to figure out how to move on. This person is steady offering him stuff, offering apologies and whatever this is. And he's just like, no. No. Moving on to something better. It pays the coins here, all right? He is trying to get grounded here. This person, he could, um, <laughs> oh, gosh. Because this page of coins is like, you know, studying something new is good news coming in as well. Um, I feel like it's also the study of magic, all right? So, I feel like this this divine masculine, he probably knows his, or has been feeling like something weird has been going on or something like that. Or maybe he caught this woman doing something weird or, you know, something crazy. And I feel like he's doing some research on like 
spell work and sex magic and stuff like that. Like, I feel like this man is doing research, um, trying to figure out what the hell this woman done did to him. Could be why he could be watching readings. He could be just Googling stuff, trying to figure shit out here. Yeah, because she got him in his head. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but he gonna figure that shit out. Look, wish you filming the star card. He gonna figure that shit out and he gonna be gone. Bye, deuces to you. Eight of wands. Yeah. He figuring that shit out. Temperance, he trying to balance that shit out. Figure he, he's like, what the hell is going on? This is some weird shit that's happening. Ace of wands here. Yeah, he moving on. Ace of wands. Yep, look at that. Moving on from this from this person, this high priestess. um, Or this person that's performing this shit. Or maybe he's getting readings from um he could be getting readings from someone or listening to readings here divine masculine if you're here listening to a reading this this could be you know the thing that causes you to walk away here all right yeah mm, goodness gracious because the truth is gonna come out the truth is gonna come out and you're gonna walk away i want to know how this person gonna handle this how what what the, what this karmic female has to say why is the Ace of Cups here? Yep, the start. The truth gonna come out. The wish gonna be fulfilled. The wish that um for this the divine masculine's wish to move on and get away from this person and have a new beginning with a new person or just a new beginning, period. Okay. Confirmation with the notification that just came through. Okay. The wish is going to be fulfilled. That's the truth. The truth gonna come out. Ace of Wands. Yeah, he's gonna move on. And he's gonna be in some healing ass, deep healing ass energy, like protecting himself from this um Ten of Wands energy protecting himself from this burden here. This man is gonna be scared. Scared of <laughs> yeah, walking away, Knight of Wands. I told you he's holding, making that decision to walk away. Okay, he's holding that one um that one wand there. Okay, to walk away from this toxic ass person. He like this bitch is crazy. Look. <laughs> Like, look, I don't even care if I gotta jump off the damn cliff or if I gotta walk down the yellow brick road, go to the land of Oz to get away from this person. I want a new beginning. I gotta get away from this bitch. She is crazy. Oh my goodness. All right. That's all. Yeah, that's what's going on with the divine masculine child. Um, I don't even know what I want to do now. Let me. I don't, I'm gonna get some love or messages, I guess. I want to before I do that. Let's see what this karmic female got to say to this divine masculine or about this situation here. Shuffling for the divine masculine spirit. Guardian angels, ancestors, spirit guys, thank you so much for the message so far. The chocolate for the divine masculine. What does this something about June could be significant? Okay, somebody's ignoring their um, inner voice, their intuition here. That could be that divine masculine knowing something's going on, and he was ignoring his divine uh, voice. I, I mean, ignoring his inner um, chocolate for the divine masculine. What does this karmic female want to say to them? Final messages from the um, karmic female. What's going on? Shuffling for the divine masculine. I'm sure. I'm try to pick up that cherry. The cherry car wanted me to pick it up. Like, <sighs> ready to go. Run. <laughs> Look, are you seeing anyone? I feel trapped in this relationship. Lord have mercy. I told y'all. What's the um? This is the, this is the divine masculine. What are the messages here between the divine masculine and the divine feminine? Final messages or whatever they want to say here. Oh, good grief. Oh, that's too many. That's too many. I'm gonna go through it one time. Let's see. Let's see what comes out, guys. What are the messages here? Divine masculine, divine feminine. I mean, the divine masculine and the common female. This is not no divine feminine. What is the, <laughs> what is the messages here? What are the messages here? I'm sorry. Well, I don't talk about my grammar. 
Yeah. This divine masculine knew something was going on and he was ignoring his intuition, but that page of coins, that, that research and all that stuff, now he's doing his research. Now his eyes are open. Okay. So now he's trying to figure out what's going on and what the best way to get away from this person is. What are the messages here, Spirit? What are the messages here? What are the messages here, Spirit? What are the messages? Go through the whole thing. Okay. All right. I was wrong. Please forgive me. I feel like this divine. Uh, this, damn, I keep saying divine. Vivian. This uh, karmic female, because she knows that this this divine masculine wants to leave. This divine masculine has been ignoring his intuition here, or he was, and I don't feel like he's doing it anymore. All right. She says no one else compares to you. All right. She can be manifesting this man back, or either this this divine masculine could be manifesting somebody else, or somebody else is the is manifesting this divine masculine here. Could be, however it resonates. All right. She says, "I I regret it." She's ashamed of something here. Mm. Probably lying or doing whatever she was doing. All right. Mike says she says, "I never should have left you." Maybe this was um whatever that sneaky sneaking out situation is. If she, if there was a third party involved. All right. I want you, but I'm still with her and him. They could still be involved with a third party here all right i'm seeing your face everywhere so if there's a separation between the divine masculine and the and the karmic female right now she's probably still messing around with the third party here but when she says i'm seeing your face everywhere something about september here could be significant somebody's birthday maybe um i want to marry you <sighs> i miss you <laughs> yeah you deserve better. Yeah, Divine Masculine, you deserve better than that, all right? Something about a canceled friend request. This person could be uh, trying to add this Divine Masculine, trying to follow his page using different, um, oh, goodness, using different accounts, I was about to say, but then I just got, thank you, Spirit, <laughs> that this woman could be going through this man's phone, like canceling friend requests, Deleting women that like his shit or just she crazy. She crazy. So it should have been you. Okay. Maybe this divine masculine is telling somebody this or something. Maybe a new person. All right. I feel trapped in this relationship. All right. I feel this is definitely the divine masculine. Of course, he feels trapped in this relationship. Are you seeing anyone? She wants to know if he's talking to somebody else, all right? But mostly because she probably is. Look, 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 y'all, I cannot make this up. I can't make it up. Karmic female, I told y'all. <sighs> you were right. I know I was right. Look, I feel like this fear is, like, this is, this message is from fear. Oh my god. I feel like this is y'all. This is some of y'all divine masculine. Like, dang, you was right. Dang. I feel like somebody just said that. <laughs> like when I when they saw that carpet, people were like, hey, she was right. Alright, best I ever had here. This she thinks that he's the best that she's ever had. It's something about a light skinned male or someone with light skin. Okay, a male with light skin. On the bottom of the deck, this isn't right. Oh, somebody been getting some bad advice or being misled here. All right. Uh, she's saying, please don't go and look toxic. Mm-hmm. Lost. Top of the deck, something about July. Okay. Could be um, a birthday here. Could be this karmic female's birthday. The five mask on your birthday. Something about a dark-skinned female. Is thinking about having sex with you or something like that with a dark-skinned male. Oh, what is this? I don't know what this is, y'all. Something about July. A dark-skinned female thinking about having sex with a dark-skinned male. <laughs> All right. Take that out of your Um. Dang. I want to get a sign. Signs for this karmic female. Spirit, what are the possible signs of this karmic female that the Divine Masculine is dealing with? What are the possible zodiac signs of the divine, I mean, of the um, karmic female that the divine masculine is dealing with? What's the signs? 
Who is this crazy woman? <laughs> this crazy person that they dealing with. What's the possible signs of this karmic female? Too. Uh, you guys could be dealing with the Pisces and Aries. On the bottom of the deck, you got the water sign, Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Let me get one more, please. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Could be a Libra or a Gemini on the bottom and top of the deck. Um, time frame. When is the divine masculine going to get away from this karmic female? When is the Divine Masculine going to leave this karmic female for good? When is the Divine Masculine going to leave the karmic female for good? Wow. Within a month for some of you? That's a yes. Within a month. <laughs> or if you guys just asked, whatever you guys just asked, yeah, the answer is yes. Within a year for some of you. Let's get one more. Within two weeks. Wow. So soon. Bottom of the deck says do it. <laughs> Top of the deck says proceed with caution. So I don't know. Keep that how it resonates. So this y'all, this uh divine masculine might not be quite ready for a new relationship, okay? Once they leave there. So maybe you need to proceed with caution. But for some of y'all, it's gonna be within this within a year. So by this time next year, sometimes some of you within two weeks, some of y'all that's already is in progress, some of y'all within a month, they're going to be rid of this uh, karmic female. Hmm. All right. Shuffling for the divine masculine. What are the messages here? Spirit searching for, searching for. <laughs> Shuffling for the divine masculine. What are the messages here? What are the love messages here? Love oracle messages for the divine masculine, please, spirit. For my Let me get a few more. Okay. All right. Something look then oh wow wow wow. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. I'm telling y'all, this is that that pregnancy, the fake pregnancy or the pregnancy, the, the planned pregnancy by her or the fake pregnancy or whatever this situation is or you could have children with this person as well that could be why some of you are holding on to but i feel like that has to do with that pregnancy love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive here okay then you have um yeah i'm getting a phone call right now i don't know if you guys can still hear me um divine timing is at work in your love life something is worth waiting for here okay Mm -mm -mm. y'all deception someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship we already know who that is deception yeah this woman is trying to deceive this divine masculine y'all i'm trying to tell you make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take yeah so divine masculine if y'all want to move forward and get away from this person shh if y'all want to move forward and get away from this person, the most importantly, you have to love yourself first, okay? Make sure that you do that before you do anything else. Because guess what? The 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 real love that is coming for you guys, yeah, notification just came through. Confirmation. The real love that's coming for you guys is worth waiting for, okay? So take your time. Do some healing. Don't try to leave somebody and jump in bed with somebody else to do whatever. Or you can do what you want to do. I'm just here for, this is just advice. You take it or you leave it, okay? bottom of the deck you got engagement wow your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment okay and it is safe to love so you guys could be um leaving this person and finding the person that you want to marry or get engaged with uh get engaged to <laughs> all right it says uh the top of the deck finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now okay so i did say something about somebody was taking your money this karmic female could be taking your money look at past life relationship you have known each other before um i'm gonna get some oracle some zodiac signs for new love okay 
Because some of y'all, Divine Masculines, may very well be single and ready to mingle. So, what are the um, possible zodiac signs for the new love, new person for the Divine Masculines? Possible zodiac sign for the Divine Masculines, new love, new person. Please, Spirit. Mm -hmm. cards again so this is not my physical traits oracle deck all right so some of y'all divine masculines i mean uh yeah divine masculines or some of y'all divine feminines watching for the divine masculine look i don't know what that is flipped over right there somebody's skinny all right i don't know it was already flipped but y'all could uh, be skeptical about who this karmic female is, or some of you want confirmation about who this karmic female is. And I just want to be nosy. <laughs> Might as well. So let's say. Oh, and I also have done a divine feminine reading already, if you guys have not watched it. So if you haven't, you may want to check that out, okay? That's mostly why I'm doing why I'm doing this though, because I did it for the divine feminines. Alright, guys. Oh my spirit by the angels and spirit and spirit, guys. What are the physical traits, the possible physical traits of this um, karmic female? Possible physical traits of this karmic female. These are new cards, so they are kind of slippery. Possible physical traits of the karmic female. Possible physical traits of the karmic. Ooh. Let me put these down because I'm going to be the guy mixed up. Of the karmic female. Mm -hmm. It's going to come out. Oh, good grief. I'm not taking all those now. Let me go back. Damn, I think I picked up some more that I'm supposed to pick up. Possible physical traits of the comic female, please. Alright. Okay, alright, alright, alright. I got it. I'm gonna drop one, guys. Alright. So, we've got high cheekbones. Alright. Also, I'm just going off this card too. Um, could be a dark skinned female or uh, someone with darker skin. Okay, when I say dark, it could be tan to dark, it could be just darker than yours or whatever. Okay, whatever resonates with you. Um, it could be somebody with curly hair but high cheekbones. All right, somebody who's extremely younger than you, divine masculine. So, so this female is younger than the divine masculine. All right. Somebody who's toned, so maybe this person has a nice body, or maybe they work out or something like that, all right? Um, red hair, maybe this person has red hair, okay? Or maybe they, yeah, they could have red hair. I was about to say maybe they change their hair a lot or something, because y'all know, if they black females, they probably got different hair colors, but, you know, red hair. 
Um, oh, a mustache. Lord, I hope she don't have no mustache. <laughs> Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Um, something about fine lines on their face. Maybe this person has some sort of lines on their face. They're black, though. Did not just say if it's a black female. Um, for some of you, the person could be overweight. Okay. Uh, for some of you, this person is overweight. Uh, uh, could have a big nose, broad nose. We know big nose. Um, sparse eyebrows. They could have really thin eyebrows. Or maybe they get their eyebrows. She gets her eyebrows done a lot. Could have some big eyes, large eyes. Um... Scarred, what? Okay. So it says skin characteristics scarred. So maybe, maybe um this person has like some type of scars on their face, or if they get or or if they break out a lot, maybe they got like um uh, what do you call them like blackheads or I don't know maybe the, maybe their skin breaks out a lot or something like that, and they have their you know it's kind of scarred as a result. Y'all know y'all pop pimples and stuff like that. How sometimes it doesn't go away. Like that. That's what it looks like on this card. Yeah. All right. Um, slim. This person could be slim. Got rough skin. Yeah. Something about this. Something about this person's skin is. Y'all get it. Some. I feel like some of y'all like. Ooh, I know who that is. <laughs> but something about this purpose. This person's skin. Like they don't have very clear skin, or maybe they their face breaks out a lot, or something like that. Okay. Um, somebody can have a short nose, uh, no piercings, and downward turned lips. The bottom right here, downward turned lips. All right. Okay. Okay. I feel like some of y'all like, oh, I know who that is. All right. I want to get some characteristics for the, um... The new person. Here, I'm gonna put these back in, and we're gonna get ooh, some characteristics for a possible new person over here. For those of you who want to know what your divine feminine may look like when you meet her, okay? Let me show you these cards. There's a Divine masculine, divine feminine look like their soulmate, their counterpart, the new love, okay, whatever you want to call it. And of course, I'm going to do it. What will the divine masculine's new love, divine counterpart look like? Possible characteristics of the new person. Of the divine masculine, the divine, true divine feminine. Let me say it like that. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> and like specify characteristics of the divine masculine's true divine feminine. I'm trying to shuffle them up real good, y'all. Characteristics of the Divine Masculine's True Divine Feminine. And again, y'all may want to go back and watch the Divine Feminine reading if y'all haven't already, okay? Characteristics of the Divine Masculine's True Divine Feminine. These cards are so slippery. Oh y'all! Oh my, y'all! That's my target. <laughs> spirit guys, y'all my spirit guys. I ain't gonna lie, they funny. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's so, so petty, petty. 
petty. Y'all petty. Oh my goodness. So petty. I'm glad y'all seeing this because I can't make this fucking shit up. Skin characteristics clean. The other one said, where'd it go? Skin characteristic smooth. <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry. That's funny. My spirit guys are hilarious, y'all. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Rosy cheeks. <laughs> wide eye. Look at those eyes. Okay, not large eyes, but just wide eye. The complete opposite of everything this karmic female was. Y'all, I don't know what, a, oh, face characteristic. I thought that was body. Triangle shaped face. I don't even know what a triangle shaped face is, y'all. Lanky, all right? This person could be lanky, like really thin, really skinny. A full frame. They could be full figured, all right? Have some nice curves or something, I guess. Okay, they could, not extremely older. They could be older than you. Older than the divine feminine. I mean, the, damn, divine masculine. Uh, heavy lower lips, so like maybe some really like pouty full lips. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. Um, oh, summer. Okay, I didn't even know this is in there. So you guys could be meeting them. This divine mask. I mean, shit. Divine masculines could be coming into union with this divine feminine in the summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. A snub nose. Oh, they only have a really small light nose. <laughs> Um, this possibly has tattoos, this person, okay, they could, somebody could also have a broad nose, and they could be a little chubby, all right, if you like them a little thick in the waist, in the right places, all right, y'all, this is crazy, that's funny, I'm sorry, um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here, guys, those are the messages that I have for you to buy masculines. All right, I hope that something resonated with Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I did the letters for the Divine Feminine, so I'm going to do them for y'all, too. Uh, We're going to do... Dang. I'm going to do both for y'all since I did with the cards both ways and stuff. Um, And because I'm nosy again. So, give me the... um, And because there was a lot of toxicity. I mean, this karmic female had a really strong presence in this reading. So, I want the... um. First, last, middle, initials of the karmic female, please. Possible first, last, middle, initials of the karmic female. Okay. Excuse me. And possible first, last, middle, initials of the uh, the new person, this new female with the smooth skin. Y'all, okay. they petty. It ain't me. Yeah, but y'all saw it. It ain't me. It is not me. Possible first, last, middle initials of the new person, the the true divine thing. All right, guys. So for the um for the karmic female, possible first, last, middle initials. All right, C E K uh, P E C R M. Wait, is that an M R W? Yeah, M E. D, D as in dog. Um, B, no, that's a Q, sorry. I have the small, the the little ones are on the other side and the big ones on the other side, that's why. I know my letters, y'all. But that's a Q, an A, and a G. Okay? And then we got the, um, the horse here that I always say is like the night energy. So this could be this um, divine masculine moving away from this karmic female here. All right, possible first, last, middle initials of the new, the divine feminine, the true divine feminine. We have R, F, uh, G, H, I, P, T, an O, an I, an N, a U, and another O, okay? And then, look, we have the peace sign came out. So this person is going to bring the divine masculine peace. Okay? They're not going to be crazy and toxic and karmic. Okay? It's going to bring them peace. 
All right, now those are the messages that I have for you guys. I'm going to end this right here because this went way, way longer than I thought it was going to go. I hope you guys stick, stuck around for the entire reading and I hope you enjoyed the reading. All right, if you did, please leave me a comment and let me know. If you want to, feel free. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe as well so you guys do not miss any of my readings, okay? So I can keep posting readings for you guys, okay? All right, see you guys later.